Learning to Reflect. A learning module for the Australian National University Computing Project Graduate Course Comp 8715 by Tom Worthington. Part 1, Learn. In this first of two parts, you will investigate what you need to learn for your project and long term for your career. The aim is to prepare you to be a professional in your field, which includes the ability to take responsibility for your future professional development. Learning Goals. In a group project you are undertaking one or more roles as a team member. This requires technical and professional skills. What skills will you need, which you do not already have? Where will you obtain these skills? Co-curricular programs. Part of being a professional is assessing if you have the skills needed for a job, and going about gaining skills needed. This is commonly called lifelong learning. Development relevant to maintaining and expanding skills in a specific job or discipline is professional development. The European Commission, EC, defines lifelong learning as all general education, vocational education and training, non-formal learning and informal learning undertaken throughout life, resulting in an improvement in knowledge, skills and competences or participation in society within a personal, civic, cultural, social and or employment related perspective, including the provision of counseling and guidance services. From Annex 3, Glossary of Terms, page 324, Erasmus Plus Program Guide, European Commission, 2019. The Australian Computer Society, ACS, uses a narrower range of topics for its continuing professional development, CPD, program. CPD hours should be balanced and tailored to your career path, taking into consideration competencies to date and future interests. Some examples include Formal study, completing subjects from ACS education programs, university, TAFE and other providers. Learning activities, undertaking structured training, short courses. ICT forums, attending ACS branch forums, special interest groups, industry conferences. Self-directed learning, reading industry journals or blogs, reviewing online resources. Contribute to the ICT profession, volunteering with ACS working groups and branch executive committees, presenting conference papers, academic research. From Pathways to Certification, Australian Computer Society, 2016. As well as formal coursework, universities offer a range of co-curricular activities for students. Co-curricular, adjective, North American. Of an activity at a school or college, pursued in addition to the normal course of study. From, definition of co-curricular in English, English Oxford Living Dictionaries, Oxford University Press, 29. Some co-curricular activities offered through Australian National University Student Experience are Australian National University Plus a program that formally recognizes your experience and contribution achieved through volunteering. GULP, the Global Undergraduate Leaders Program. Australian National University Learning Communities, five student-led organizations for areas of common interest, creative arts, cultures, global challenges, history, and sustainability. Set for Australian National University Program, volunteer program to support new students, including mentoring. Student Research Conference, a student-led conference for undergraduate, honours and masters by coursework Australian National University students from all disciplines. Undergraduate Research Journal, publishes essays by Australian National University undergraduates. Students gain experience in the scholarly publication process of peer review and editing. Universities offer programs for students to gain skills as entrepreneurs. Australian National University sponsors First Wednesday Connect and Innovation Act. Universities also offer free online courses. The Australian National University offers courses through the EDX Consortium. Topics include technology management and marketing. Style approach to learning. Australian National University's Student Experience and Career Development Unit suggests using the STAR approach for responding to selection criteria. Coburn, Carver, Shirley, and Davis, page 71, 2007, discuss an expanded style approach used at Queensland University of Technology, QUT, Situation, Task, Action, Result, and Lessons Learned. Situation, the situation is the context in which the experience occurred. Task, the task is what was actually required of you in the situation. Action, action refers to the steps that you personally took in response to the task. Result, result refers to the outcome of your actions. How did your actions contribute to the completion of the task? 
How did your actions affect the final outcome of the situation? Learned. Learned refers to the things you have learned from the experience. Highlight any skills or abilities that you have developed or improved as a result of the experience. From Coburn, Carver, Shirley, and Davis, page 71, 2007. You will be asked to apply star L in developing your WPP. Responding to selection criteria. In the first assignment you are required to prepare a statement addressing the selection criteria for a typical position. You will then refine this in the final assignment. The Australian National University Careers define selection criteria as the qualifications, skills, personal attributes and performance standards needed to perform the duties listed on the duty statement slash position description. For computing positions the selection criteria are usually explicitly listed. They may be divided into categories, such as essential and desirable. Your response to selection criteria may duplicate information provided in the CV. The Australian Public Service Commission, APSC, examples of selection criteria. Demonstrated capacity to communicate effectively. Good organizational and administrative skills. Proven ability to work as part of a team. Well-developed customer service skills. Proven ability to manage projects. From Fact Sheet 5, Addressing Selection Criteria, Australian Public Service Commission, 2018. An example of using STAR to the first of these criteria, Communication. Situation, Role as Research Support Officer at Department of XYZ. Task, Needed to ensure that managers were kept informed of policies and procedures. Action or Approach, Initiated Monthly Newsletter, which was emailed to each manager. Took responsibility for writing the main articles. This involved obtaining ideas and input from other stakeholders to ensure that the articles reflected managers' needs, in terms of content and language. Result, led to improved lines of communication between managers and the research support unit. Feedback was consistently excellent. Received Divisional Achievement Award for Newsletter Quality. From Fact Sheet 5, Addressing Selection Criteria, Australian Public Service Commission, 2018. The APSC did not use the expanded star L. Adding learning to this might give, for instance, learning, while experienced in the preparation of newsletter content, needed to learn the use of the department's WISO social media tool. This required not only learning technical aspects, but group online working. As included in the WPP, I possess strong written communication skills, which I have developed over the course research support officer at the department of XYZ, I needed to ensure that managers were kept informed of policies and procedures. To do this, I initiated a monthly newsletter, which was emailed to each manager. I took responsibility for writing the main articles in each publication. This involved obtaining ideas and input from other stakeholders to ensure that the articles reflected the needs of managers, both in terms of content and language. I received consistently excellent feedback in relation to this newsletter from these internal clients and my own manager. I received a Divisional Achievement Award for the quality of this newsletter from management. Importantly, This initiative resulted in improved lines of communication between managers and the research support unit. From Fact Sheet 5, Addressing Selection Criteria, Australian Public Service Commission, 2018. Communication skills, teamwork and interpersonal skills are the top three criteria assessed by Australian employers, as reported in the Argot Employer Survey, page 48, 2019. Australian National University Careers categorise selection criteria into General questions, example, outline your relevant postgraduate qualifications. Provide more details, and highlight what is most relevant from your CV. Behaviorally based questions, example, proven teamwork slash leadership skills. Use an example from your experience to answer this question. As discussed previously, Australian National University careers use the STAR approach for responding to selection criteria. Coburn, Carver, Shirley, and Davis, page 71. 2007, discuss an expanded style approach used at Queensland University of Technology, QUT, situation, task, action, result, and lessons learned. The expanded style, with learned is used here, as being aware of the skills and abilities you have developed as part of being a professional. In the assignment you will be required to document what you have learned from co-curricular activities. Australian National University careers provide help with selection criteria and examples. Self-directed learn. Previously in part 1, you set learning goals and selected ways to achieve these. The National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, 
and medicine, distinguish between self-directed slash required, and informal slash formal learning. Self-directed, autonomous, development in an informal environment. Keeping up to date on industry news and events by reading relevant publications. Taking a walking tour of an historical area, for example, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Self-directed, autonomous, development in a formal environment. Taking an online course outside of the workplace to expand relevant knowledge base. Taking a photography class. Required, mandated, development in an informal environment. Receiving mentoring by a more experienced colleague to learn a job required skill. Reviewing company policy related to job specific topics. Required, mandated, development in a formal environment. Participating in annual employment-wide training to adhere to human resources policies at work. First aid training for school employees. From how people learn to, learners, contexts, and cultures, page 201, National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine, 2018. These different categories of learning may prove useful in deciding what you need at different times in your career. Suggested readings. Identifying your skills, interests and values, Australian National University Careers, 2018. Selection criteria, Australian National University Careers, 2018. Learning activities and environments, pages 200 amp, 201, how people learn to, learners, contexts, and cultures, page 201, National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine, 2018. Quiz. Complete online quiz 1 now. Questions. Answer these questions in forum 1 now. Then discuss and rate your fellow students' answers. Describe an example from your own experience in terms of star L, situation, task, action, result, and lessons learned. Report progress on achieving the learning goals you set previously. What have you started? What is going well? What has proved to not be appropriate and why? What categories of learning, self-directed slash required, and informal slash formal learning, did you attempt? Assignment. Start work on assignment 1 now. Bring your draft to workshop 1, along with your forum posts and be prepared to discuss your work. References. Tina Coben, Tracy Carver, Melinda Shirley, Arla Davis, using ePortfolio to enable equity students to reflect on and document their skill development. 15 Waikato L. Rev. 64, 2007, 